Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sir Gama and this video is a part of my YouTube video series all about music business for independent artists. And today the topic of our video is pitching a song to Spotify editorial playlist curators. Okay, so first things first, you can only pitch a song for editorial playlist if your song is unreleased. You cannot pitch an already released song for the editorial playlist and what are editorial playlist so basically there are a lot of playlists on spotify some of them are uh, made by human beings like us like users of spotify but some of them are made by spotify itself and those playlists which are made by spotify there are also different types of playlists some are algorithmic playlists which are made by spotify algorithms and some are editorial playlists so there are dedicated editors that Spotify has hired who listens to all the songs and you know put specific genre or specific mood playlist so these playlists are specially curated specifically by a human being which is hired to do just curating a playlist for Spotify users and Spotify customers and these playlists have millions of likes and followers so I'll just show you some uh, playlist right now here on the screen there are uh, a lot of famous playlists like Mint India. These are also, you know, geographically specifically planned for different countries, different areas, different moods, different genres of the song and a lot of stuff like that. So these editorial playlists are based on a lot of factors. So first of all, it is genre. Genre of the song and then mood of the song, like which songs go with, you know, specific moods. And the third one is also geography. So like uh, there are a lot of editorial playlists which are based on countries like uh, Tops Hits of India or Mint India, something like that, uh, Best Electronic Music of India, something like that. This is country specific but they also have state specific, uh, you know, playlist. State specific as in Delhi, Top 100 or in, in each state also. So it is very deep and you can get onto any of those editorial playlists and all of these playlists have you know hundreds and thousands of followers millions of followers some have 50k followers or something like that and these playlists are the major source of number of streams a particular song has so there is a lot of chance of increasing it's not a chance so you can say you know it's not just you know possibility but it's a guarantee that even if your one song lands in an editorial playlist, that song's number of streams will drastically change. So, like, it can go up to 100,000, 50, 150,000, 100,000, 200,000, 500,000, million. We cannot guess how much, but it's gonna change drastically. That I'm sure of. And how to pitch your songs to the playlist? These editorial playlists. First of all, beware of all the scammers. Spotify states legally on their website and on all social media platforms as well that they do not have any third party who can pitch your songs to get into any editorial playlist which are curated by Spotify editors. So the only person that can add your song to the editorial playlist is you and no one else. So you have the power to do that and please don't get scammed by the scammers and the people who say that uh, if you pay us, we can, you know, pitch your song to the editors and we can make you add into editorial playlist or something like that. All of that is a scam. Yes, they can do add your songs to a playlist, but that playlist will be something else and not a curated or editorial playlist of Spotify itself. It will be a separated playlist which they might be in charge of, but it won't be an editorial playlist of Spotify, that's for sure. Okay, now. After all of this information, let's get on and see how to pitch your original song to Spotify editorial playlist so you can, you know, boost your number of streams and your fans and your followers and which will help you to reach the point in your music career that you always aimed for. Let's get onto the system and see how this thing works. So now I log into my Spotify artist account. Also, if you have not claimed your artist account on Spotify, let me know if you want me to make a video on that. And if you have any other questions or any other doubts, let me know in the comments. Just uh, type your doubts and queries. And if there's any topic that you want me to make a video on, I'll be happy to help you out. So before we move ahead, I want to tell you something special. If you want to learn music production, mixing, mastering, or even music business in detail with each and every depth, 
and each and every secret of all of these things revealed you can take my courses which are available on my website these are not online recorded courses these are live courses in person with me where i'll be training you live online or offline and you can just go on sargama.com and apply for that and also especially for all my viewers who also reach on to my website and see they can also get a 40 percent exclusive discount for all my beats while saying this i also mentioned that i also have a beat store which is sargama.beatstars dot com and if you are a singer or a rapper i might have the perfect beat for you use my code which is mentioned on my website to avail the 40 percent discount and if you subscribe to my email list which is also mentioned on my website then you will get an exclusive 50 percent discount on all my beats and also there's an offer for buy one get one yeah that's it let's continue to the video great so i have logged in my artist spotify account we'll go to music and here you can see there are different sections. One is songs, one is releases, one is playlists, and one is upcoming. So here you can see there are different sections. One is songs, releases, playlists, and upcoming. Songs is the number of songs or the songs that I have in my profile right now. Releases is basically the albums. So my songs are all singles. So yeah, it's the same. And then we have playlists. These show that in which playlist your songs are placed and what playlist is creating how many number of streams for your song and for which song so you can see all the details about playlist and the number of songs that you have in those playlists from playlist section and then we have upcoming upcoming is the place where you can see your song which is to be released in future but it is not released as of now which is available for you to pitch to editors and make it into you know editorial playlist of spotify Perfect. So now, as you can see here, I have the artwork of that song. The name of the song is Pehli Barsat. This is a collaboration between me and a great singer, Shatakshi. If you want to get notifications about when I release a song and when my new music video is out, new YouTube video is out, and I have a lot of other stuff also that I share with my personal subscribers. And to be a subscriber, first of all, hit that subscribe button of YouTube if you still haven't. And after that, you can head on to my website, sirgama.com. You can also get this link from my description and you can sign up for the emailing list and I'll send you exclusive stuff and a lot of other things that I've been doing, yeah? Okay, after that, so this is the song, which I, as I told you, is releasing on 10th of November, 2022. And right now I'm here to pitch this song for Spotify editorial playlist. Perfect. So as you come in this upcoming section, you can see the name of the song and you have your artwork here. And then here is the section of playlist pitch. Then get heard by our editors. Then you have to go to here and pitch a song. Cool. Now it is showing all the details of the song. When is the release date and what is the time duration of the song? Then you go here and click next. And then you have to put in your details uh, geographically, like where do you live? I have done this before for my previous releases. So I have it here right now saved. And we go here, then click next. And you have to choose three genres that defines your song. So you do not have to choose, you know, anything just to fill in the numbers. You have to choose as specific and as, you know, relatable as possible because only then your song will be uh, identified or it will be able to reach the editors. If you, you know, categorize the song correctly, if it is an indie pop song, you do not have to put in uh, reggae or mumba tune or any other kind of thing. You have to be as specific as possible. First of all, we have to choose at least two cultures. Two cultures as in to which culture your song mostly relates to. And I'll go with Hindu and indigenous, I guess. Yeah, okay. Then I have to choose up to two moods that my song is portraying. And my song is portraying romantic for sure and chill energetic energetic happy fierce sad sexy meditative and i guess i guess it's chill chill and romantic and then two song styles it's not an acoustic it's not ballet it's not beats it's not holiday it's not experimental christmas traditional kids Ballet, experimental, acoustic, I guess it's none of these. And then you have to select the instruments that you have used in the song. This is one of the most important part, which helps Spotify's algorithm to, you know, see what kind of a song it might be, depending on the number of or the type of instruments it has. It is not that, uh, it cannot be that specific because right now anyone is using any instrument in any song, which is a good thing, like in a good way. But 
yeah you have to do it as specific as possible then i guess drum kit for sure acoustic guitar uh, i don't think so electric guitar flute yes it is bass guitar piano samples i have sitar i have violins then i have a synthesizer for sure and saxophone also i guess yes i have saxophone also in my song and cello i have bass guitar also in fact so i guess these are the type of instruments or these are the instruments that i have in the song from the specific instruments which are mentioned here and i guess is this a cover no it is not is it a remix no it is not how was it recorded it was recorded in a studio and is it an instrumental no it is not an instrumental then the languages you can choose up to three languages like if you have more than one language in your song but mine just have hindi then i'll just select hindi here you have to choose up to three genres which we didn't in the first place so my bad so it's indie pop it's indie electronic and it gives a sense of bollywood to me as well so i am selecting bollywood also here and then next so these are the three genres that i selected indie pop indie electronic and bollywood so this song of mine gives a little bit bollywood feel to me so that's why i selected this it's not a bollywood song like it's not synced or licensed into a bollywood uh, movie or a bollywood uh, series or something like that but it gives me a vibe of bollywood then we go next and now here is the section where you have to add the description of your song so here you can dig in a little bit deeper and tell the story the inspiration for the song and how was it made what's what was your thought when you were creating it and you know you can go a little bit in deep here if you want to so i'll just write a description for my song okay now so as a description i have wrote about what was the inspiration behind the song how it started and what is the essence of the song like what this song is portraying and they also ask like what are the plans for us to promote this song so basically spotify also wants if you are pitching it if you are pitching a song and they put it into an editorial playlist you should also make an effort from your side to promote your song and bring listeners to spotify and you know increase their consumers as well so how much you are doing for them it's vice versa like they are placing your song in a playlist you must bring some crowd on platform on their platform to increase their consumers and you know it goes vice versa so i have here my description let's hit next after it and make sure everything looks good you can update your pitch up until release day so oh this is also a good thing if you have pitched your song and you think that there is something different then you can change it up like until the song is released so you can change it until the song is released you cannot do any changes after your song is released and you cannot even pitch a release song as i told you in the earlier okay so let's go through the whole details that we just did that we just entered make sure everything's look good and hometown it's fine genres I guess it's fine music cultures is fine moods fine song styles there was none of these and then the instruments i have used all of it it's not a cover it's not a remix it's a studio recording it's not a live recording it's not an instrumental language of the work is hindi and here's my description i'll just read a description you know just to double check if there is any spelling mistake or if there is any grammatical error you don't want that to be here because it doesn't look professional so i found some of the errors and now i'm going to correct it and then pitch it again okay i guess that's it so if your song is pitched for a spotify editorial playlist but it's not added do not get stressed out because it can be added any time in future also it's not like your song will add it only when it is released so once you have pitched your song your song can be added into an editorial playlist any time in future even after a couple of years it all depends the number of listeners you have and the amount of traffic your song is generating like how many people are wanting to listen to your song following you liking your song adding your song to their personal playlist and listening to it on repeat and all that kind of stuff once you pitch then you have the possibility to be added in an editorial playlist any time in future but if you do not pitch that's not going to happen in future no matter what and also even if your song is not placed in any playlist but your song will always be there in a release radar of the followers you have on spotify so this spotify guarantees if your song is not added in an editorial playlist but you have made a pitch for this playlist right now which we are doing right now here then your song will be available in the release radar of the people who follow you on spotify so in any case your song is going to be in notifications of the people who are your followers on spotify 
even if it doesn't get into an any editorial playlist. So there is no downside to it. You should always switch a song for a playlist before you release on Spotify. I guess that's it. Everything looks good. And now we go here and pitch. Thank you for the pitch. And that's it. You can pitch another unreleased song after this one goes live on Spotify. So you can uh, pitch only one song. If you have four songs which are unreleased, you can pitch only one song at one time. And when that song goes live, then you can pitch your other song for release. Hit OK and everything looks good here. So that's it for today's video. And this is how you pitch a song officially for a Spotify editorial playlist. And if you like this video and you like what uh, things I told you in the video, please like this video on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe, share. It helps the channel a lot. And if you want any specific video or you have any doubt that you want me to clear, please leave a comment and also I have a specific playlist which is all about music business for independent artists. This video is a part of that playlist and that playlist contains each and everything an independent artist wants to know about music business. So there are not, uh, there are not a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do all of those stuff like register in PROs, types of royalties, how to claim money your song is making, how to publish, difference between publishing and distributing. There's a lot of stuff. So if you want, you can go and check that video out here right now with the link popping up. Follow me on Instagram, you'll get my username somewhere here and also link in the description. There I post a lot of other stuff that I do not on YouTube, like some personal stuff, my DJ gigs, my other businesses, things I do, commercial work that I do for my clients and all of that stuff. And also, about this uh, song release. It will be great if you can, you know, give your support and love to the song. Yeah, stay updated. Subscribe to the channel if you still haven't. See you soon next Friday, next video. Bye-bye. Take care. Peace out.